a clip from Our Flag Means That Death, which premieres this Thursday on HBO Max. Congratulations on the show. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited to see it. It really looks like my street. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you're playing. It's about pirates. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's based on a true story about a, um, a guy... Not, that's not the character I play, but the one that Reese Darby plays, uh, Steve Bonnet, who in the 1700s decided to just upturn his life and leave his family and... and he had a midlife crisis. And he went off to become a pirate, and it's all true. And he went off and he, he brought a boat. It's the first thing you're not supposed to do when you want to be a pirate. You're supposed to steal one. Yeah. <laughs> second thing he did was he found a crew and he paid them a weekly wage. He had no idea what he was doing. That's the second thing you don't do. Yeah. The incentive is to steal stuff. And he was an absolute disaster on the high seas, and, um, and he became famous for that. And they called him the gentleman pirate. And he met Blackbeard, who was his hero, uh, played by me. And, um... And, and then and and I think about as ensues. much as I can uh, yeah. uh, divulge. Well, but uh, what, hilarity uh, does ensue. What I want to talk to you about is you have, I think, a very, very beautiful tradition on the first day on every set where you film something. Tell everybody what it is and, more importantly, why you do it. I eat a person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a small person. Yeah. It's just a thing I, I've, just, you know, I've become accustomed to. Like I say, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's you a beautiful a old way. tradition. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And <laughs> um, we put them in a little earth oven and just slow cook them for yeah, about six hours. it's not done in a barbaric no, way. No, you don't just no, chop them yeah, up and yeah, then just no. eat them. No, no, it's yeah. like your delicate bit of rosemary thyme. The time, whole crew so gather round. Yeah, the whole crew, and they were just like, take little, yeah. little bits. Yeah. I like the toes myself. No, go on, what did, tell me about it, uh, I'm interested. The thing that we do is, uh, uh, usually, and this is, you know, what we do in New Zealand and Australia, is that um, the, you, you basically invite the people, the native people whose, whose land you're on, uh, to come and do an opening ceremony for the beginning of your shoot. And it's a really nice way of, of bege beginning any, um, any production, and it sort of just creates a really lovely vibe and, uh, and kind of, you know, a peaceful, sort of clean uh, and good energy yeah. to have while you're shooting. I love it. I love the idea. Do you have any first day yeah. rituals on set? Well, I usually give, like, a, a, a TED talk to my whole crew, and they're always, like... <laughs> We know, we get it, you're a mommy, you love us. <laughs> and the one thing that I say is, if you see me sitting on a curb, staring off into space, I'm not lonely. <laughs> I don't need a friend, don't come over and talk to me, I'm concentrating. Um, <laughs> which is kind of the opposite of your beautiful <laughs> tradition. Yeah. But uh, I have so many rituals that are built, like kind of baked into the fabric of the show. I mean, we're spitting, we're touching the statue, we're throwing salt over our shoulders. Oh, and really? Like superstitions? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. some of those things. Yeah, I can't oh, get rid of them. It's, it's a nightmare. Do you have any of that stuff, sort of, sort of superstitious kind of things? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just the people eating. Just the people eating. Just yeah, that just thing. Eating. Yeah. I can't start if it's bad luck. Yes. <laughs> it's bad luck not to eat a person. Yeah, you have to do Reg, it now for the rest of Do you have a question life. for any of our guests this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question. Uh, is this questions for both of you, if you feel like answering? Uh, uh, flying, flying creatures are, are very interesting things to look at. But over time, they can become a little tiresome. Do you think with proper planning, uh, you could sustain a feeling of excitement throughout the duration, a long duration, of observing any type of creature that's flying, either mythical or, or real? I like bird. I, I, I feel like I could fly in my dreams, and I like birds. <laughs> so that's the only thing. <laughs> I think I could sustain. I could, I could sustain looking at, say, for instance, a cat ate too many birds. <laughs> Somehow, they took flight within the cat. <laughs> the cat lifted off. Mm. As it's flying, the birds were scratching its, their way out. Yeah. And so. You're kind of seeing a cat fly, hurtling through the air, its stomach bursts open, and it rebirths um, 16 sparrows. <laughs> I could watch that whole thing. Uh, now you've said it, I feel like I don't need to. I I'm feel like I leave just that saw it. There. I just saw it. Is that right, Reg? That's uh, correctly adjacent. It's absolutely adjacent and correct. Please thank our wonderful guest, Pamela Adlock. Take away, TT. Pine right here. We come back. Don't go anywhere.